Do you find yourself changing the toilet paper roll in your bathroom too frequently because you run out? Well, this review might just be for you. Today, we're going to be looking at the Charmin Forever Rolls. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews For You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing as seen on TV items, consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY thing just because I like to and I think it's a lot of fun. If that interests you, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you're notified every single time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's see what the Charmin Forever Roll is actually about. So this is the box that came in the mail. It says fragile and keep up, which is kind of confusing because, well, it is toilet paper after all, and toilet paper should not be fragile. I've already started this, get it open, just because it would be, so be easier for me. I will say they, they have an indicator on here not to use any kind of knives. Don't use any kind of blade because you don't want to cut whatever's inside. All right, right off the bat, we have a sign that says Charmin Forever Roll, and it tells you what it contains. I happen to get the starter pack, which includes three rolls, or I guess three months, because one roll is supposed to be one month. Um, but it tells you that it also comes with a holder because look at the size of these things. Hold on. Look at the size of this toilet paper roll. This is a lot. Standard roll, regular roll. So it is a lot more. Um, and I think as Halloween approaches, you might see a lot more of these flying over people's houses because it's a whole lot more convenient and you have a whole lot more product. I'm just kidding. Don't toilet paper someone's house with it. Anyway, this thing cost me about 36 bucks. So I get three rolls of these Charmin Forever rolls. And then I think in the bottom here, I get my holder. So that's what I want to see. I'm actually going to unbox that off camera and start putting it together, but that's my holder. Um, it's really neat because they say it's shipped in without plastic, so they eliminate 100% of the plastic that you would throw away with toilet paper. It also reduces 80% of those inner cores, so there's not going to be a whole lot of these inner cardboard cores lying around there. Kind of neat. I like the way Charmin is thinking about the environment. Let me open up the box, put together the Forever Roll holder, and then we'll check it out to see what it looks like in the bathroom. So I took apart the Charmin Forever Roll holder. It comes with, it's a, it's a nice stainless look. It has a base with a heavy duty weight. It's got an extension arm, and then I guess the spot that holds the toilet paper. So this is pretty easy and self-explanatory. You just screw this in together. Um, let's do that real quick. We screw this part together, and then it's got a bolt that you're supposed to be able to put in through the bottom. A bolt and washer that just goes through the bottom. Let's see if I line it up, and then it, this hooks to the bottom here. So it's really self-explanatory. It's not that difficult. Um, there is an Allen wrench that it comes with, which is always handy. And then what we'll do is once I put this together, I'll take it into the bathroom. But that's really the installation. So let me just finish tightening this up. We'll go into the bathroom and see what it looks like in the bathroom. Here I have the Charmin Forever Roll in my bathroom. Um, as you can see, it's got a very large profile. It's much bigger than a regular roll of toilet paper. I'm currently in the market for a toilet paper roll in this bathroom anyway. We painted it maybe a few months ago and we're still refurbishing some, so I don't actually have one now. So I'm not opposed to this one. I'll probably actually tuck it back behind that table so it's sort of out of the way. I like the convenience of having one large roll instead of having to replace it, but that's what it looks like in my bathroom, the Charmin Forever Roll. I would love to get your thoughts on the Charmin Forever Roll. Leave it for me in the comment section below. Is this something you want in your house? Do you really need a month's worth of toilet paper on one roll? Let me know down in the comment section below. Today we were looking at the Charmin Forever Roll, or at least we did an unboxing and a product demonstration with the Charmin Forever Roll. Um, this is funny because this reminds me of my mom coming to visit, and I'll tell you why. So back in my bachelor days, I, I just didn't have toilet paper around the house. And so every time my mom came to visit, she would bring a pack because she wanted to make sure there was some in the house. Well, now I've got a three month supply in a box. So when she comes to visit, we definitely have it um, here at the house. So I bought this for about $36 on the Charmin website. And that came with the three rolls or in a sense, three months worth and a base. I, I'm pretty sure that's indicative of how much it costs to reorder it anyway. You just get, you don't get the free base. They might drop the price or it might fluctuate, but that's about what I've seen. I did notice that it wasn't really any better than 
buying the toilet paper in the store, right? Because it's about the same price. This is, I guess, more convenient having it in one big giant roll. For me, I tucked it behind a table. It's out of the way. You don't see it when you come into the bathroom or you walk through the bathroom. Um, you don't really see it, so it's not like an eyesore, but it's there for when someone needs it. Personally, I kind of miss the plastic around it. It made me feel like it was safe. You know how they said it saves 100% of the plastic? And I like that Charmin did that, but I miss it. I like having it wrapped in plastic just for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, this was my review of the Charmin Forever Roll. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Since you're still here, I would love it if you would go and take a look at my socket shelf review. When I was in that bathroom, I saw it up on there and it's something I reviewed recently. Um, sometimes it does become a toilet paper roll dispenser. Just kidding. Um, if you wouldn't mind though, clicking the link right up here and checking out my review of the socket shelf. See you there.